Adam Glick, Box Labs. Today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the RenderBox 10300. The RenderBox 10300 is uh, a product that we developed for uh, anybody that needs to uh, uh, augment their, uh, their distributed rendering capabilities for both 3D uh, and 2D graphics uh, pipelines. The RenderBox 10300 module is actually two computers, right? Uh, we have a render node here and another render node here. Identical systems. Each render node has a dual quad-core processing capability. That's eight cores. So eight cores here, eight cores here, 16 cores for the total module. Uh, now each node, right, has uh, dual gigabit Ethernet, has an out-of-band IPMI, uh, signaling interface that allows administrators to do lots of neat stuff, turn it on, turn it off, uh, reload applications, plugins, what have you. You can even reload the operating system through here. Uh, a graphics head, uh, although it's not a, a, a terribly powerful graphics head, it's not really a GPU. You wouldn't use this uh, to do uh, any work inside of a, of a viewport in, in Max or Maya, for instance. But it is good for, uh, for administrative monitoring, uh, if, uh, if, if, if need be. Now let's take a look inside and see how this thing's put together. So the first thing we do is uh, we can turn this thing on its side. These two screws need to come out first before we can remove the uh, the outer shell here. Easily removed. And we can slide this cover off and take a look inside. What we see here are two Intel Xeon processors, a bunch of RAM, uh, cooling system, power supply, hard drives, uh, and that's essentially it. Uh, we have the same configuration on this side over here, right? So, a very high density configuration for just an ungodly amount of processing power in a very small package. So, with uh, the cover back on this 10300 module, let's see how it goes back in the rack. Oh, I should say, uh, we did talk a little bit about the signaling uh, messaging uh, ports on the front here. Power on the back. Makes it very simple to uh, rack up once you have it uh, installed. Speaking of installation, 10300 modules are designed to slide into this custom aluminum rack. Makes it very simple to, uh, uh, to, to install and manage the 10300 units. Uh, in your equipment room or, or wherever you have them installed. So we have uh, here five 10300 modules. That's 10 uh, dual quad core render nodes. So eight cores, eight cores, eight cores, eight cores, etc. 80 Intel cores in this very small four rack unit space. Uh, actually, with hyperthreading technology, the new uh, Nehalem hyperthreading technology, this is actually 160 virtual cores that can be used for pretty much whatever distributed rendering uh, or processing uh, tasks you want to throw at it 